I'm going to come on here and do a quick uh, recorded video. I'm not feeling very well. I got a really bad head cold, sore throat, etc. And uh, but I wanted to come on here. Nick might be doing some fundamental uh, discussion later and upload it. But I just want to come on since we've got a red day to uh, come on and give a couple ideas. Uh, as you know, I've been still friendly. I think on Bitcoin, you possibly could have had a one up. You had five ways down, which I've shown an ABC that ended and maybe working on the five ways down. So we've done wave three of that probably. We could have a four and then maybe slip below the lows down here at, at 3,500. And uh, that's kind of the count I'm thinking of now. I warned I didn't like the uh, shorts coming off so uh, heavily into this rally. I should have been more worried about that. And even today, shorts have not increased dramatically. So uh, this doesn't look very good for supporting a low here. I still like uh, Litecoin, you know, still uh, higher highs, higher lows. It's had a pretty big correction off the highs, but I still like the action there. And we're long, recently off lower levels. And uh, Ethereum, back down, we had that buy down there at 112 or 126. And uh, again, I think we could try to dig in. Now, if we go to uh, our software, this is Bitcoin USD. You can see now we're down to a 35 on the technometer. I had mentioned if we fell a couple hundred dollars, I thought we'd get oversold. So since we've had basically a $300 down, we are at 35. Again, that's not a just close your eyes and buy. It's saying we're oversold. Be on the lookout for a low or at least maybe uh, done declining. So we, we came down and took out this previous low. So this could be a spring and an uptrend. So I think the technometer supporting that we're uh, making some type of low here. The same thing, if we, I know on Litecoin, we had uh, 40 on the technometer. So it could uh, support a little bit lower before we uh, turn higher here. And then uh, stock market opened lower. You can see here with the Wyckoff wave. And then it did come back, closed a little higher once again. Technometer 48.21. So I did give a sell yesterday. We're a little higher than that. For pro traders, I gave a short sell and I said probably I would add on if we get further strength. And same thing here, I'm showing resistance on what was previous support. So now we have, uh, again, open lower, closed slightly higher. We've got a 49 on the technometer. So we haven't reached 50 on these things, but we're getting close. That's why I took my longs. and I wanted to focus on trying to prepare to be short. One other thing I had noticed today, another channel brought to my attention was talking about Bill Miller. I saw these, uh, this article is across the board on some of these, uh, you know, cryptocurrency sites. Bitcoin be worth a lot or worth zero, says billionaire hedge fund manager, Bill Miller. We've talked about this guy over the last year and a half or so. When it was $250, Bill was saying, invest 1% of your net worth. Uh, when it was a 2,500, he said it could go to 25,000. I know when Ripple took off and was near the highs and Bitcoin about 20,000, he did take some chips off the table. I know he's still bullish on the area. This article is very misleading and the way it was put on other channels, very misleading. It says here that when uh, digital currency prices were at their all time highs, Miller's firm invested 1 billion. That's not true. He was invested way before that. Uh, at that, at those highs, he might have had a billion invested because he invested, you know, when it was uh, at $250. So it would have grown into that. And then it said that late July, he had invested a big chunk, 1% of his personal net worth. He did that way before July 2018. So just another thing, you got to be careful what these uh, news websites are putting out there. This is totally misleading, totally wrong. And then also then totally brought wrong to you by YouTube channels. So, and I saw this article, you know, like six or seven different websites, uh, far from the truth. So uh, make sure you're paying attention. Another good reason to not pay attention to any news, quit reading articles, quit uh, listening to YouTube channels that's uh, giving false information. So uh, Bill Miller still likes the crypto area. I know he's more of a fan of Bitcoin. They still got money invested. And uh, this was just not true. So here we are, 3592 on Bitcoin. 
Litecoin 33.34, NEO's down pretty big, 13%. That way it came back below a stop level I was looking at, but uh, not really jumping back in yet, watching these things. And uh, once again, if this count is correct, then uh, you know we could could have made a low already, could make a low and a little more weakness in the next day or so. But uh, we'll be trying to keep you updated on Twitter, definitely in Discord. Go to LearnCrypto.io if you choose and click the Patreon link and then join the Discord if you like, 30 bucks a month. Ask us a lot of questions, charts, etc. And on the software, I'm getting ready to add a few things and uh, detail out. But as you can see, uh, software is working extremely well. Let's go to the five minute chart. And once again, I think Nick is going to do a fundamental report here tonight if I end up doing a uh, recorded video. So uh, just a quick video. Sorry we're not going live tonight. As you can probably tell, my uh, voice is screwed up and I've just got uh, extreme sinus problems. So I'm going to take some medicine. I've been on medicine for a week. I'm going to take some medicine and chill out. So here's the uh, five-minute Bitcoin USD. Let's see if this loads. That's showing uh, the last week sell-off, which has been a bit, pretty big sell-off. This is what we was just looking at over here, and this is the one month. So you can see here, volume has gone quickly to new lows. That's why the technometer is at 35. Uh, I'd mentioned really up to uh, this point to the left, all of this chart, there was really no big divergences. It's not like price went to new highs, volume didn't, or volume went to new highs, price didn't. Everything was kind of in lockstep, but you can see once again, heavy selling coming in here, goes to new lows for the move. Price is still holding with kind of an ABC looking correction thus far. Technometer's oversold, so I'm still leaning that uh, we're trying to dig in and make a low here. So uh, good trading, and we'll catch you live again soon. Thank you.